Tether, the creator of the world's largest stablecoin, USDT, announced that it no longer holds any commercial paper, a type of short-term unsecured debt, having met its target date for doing so. In a blog post, the company also announced a $700 million profit for the fourth quarter. Following the collapse of algorithmic stablecoin TerraUSD, which had a market capitalization of $18 billion prior to its demise, stablecoin issuers came under increased scrutiny last year. Tether first disclosed a breakdown of its reserves in May 2021, revealing that commercial paper accounted for 49% of its assets. Following the testation reports, the proportion of commercial paper on Tether's books gradually decreased. According to a BDO testation, the company had $67 billion in assets and $66 billion in liabilities as of December 31st, almost all of which relates to digital tokens issued. More than 58% of its assets are US Treasury bills. Tether had $20.1 billion in commercial paper as of May of last year. Secured loans were reduced by $300 million as part of a plan to reduce them to zero this year. Aave, one of crypto's largest decentralized finance protocols, has deployed its native stablecoin GHO on Ethereum's coily testnet Aave companies, one of the firms developing the lending protocol announced on 9th of December. According to a press release, developers and potential adopters of GHO can access the stablecoin's code base and test how it works before it is released to the general public on the Ethereum blockchain. GHO's mainnet launch is subject to community discussion and approval. GHO has been eagerly awaited by DeFi users since the community overwhelmingly supported its development in a governance vote last August. The GHO deployment was audited by blockchain code auditing firms Open Zeppelin, Sigma Prime, ABDK and Katora prior to the testnet release according to the press release. The protocol also launched a bug bounty program which encourages community members to find and report security flaws in exchange for a $250,000 reward. According to a proposal posted on 8th of February in Maker Governance Forum, leading MakerDAO community participants have proposed creating a liquidity market called Spark Protocol for lending and borrowing crypto assets focused on DAI Maker's $5 billion stablecoin. The first product will be Sparklend, which will allow users to borrow DAI at the current DAI savings rate of 1%. According to the proposal, Sparkland will accept highly liquid, decentralized assets such as ETH, DAI and wrapped derivatives of staked ETH and BTC as collateral. Fixed-term yield products will be added in the future as will Maker's own synthetic liquid staking derivative called EtherDAI. According to the proposal, Spark plans to launch in April by opening a die lending vault on Maker with a debt ceiling of $200 million. Spark would make use of Aave V3, the recently upgraded third version of DeFi lending giant smart contract system. In exchange, the Phoenix Labs developer team intends to send Aave DAO 10% of the protocol's profits earned on the Spark protocol's DAI market over the next two years. In the upcoming segment, we will update you about the following news. Former Coinbase manager pleads guilty to insider trading scheme. Lido token increased by 11% after Coinbase CEO shares SEC rumor. SEC hits Kraken with $30 million fine or the crypto exchange to halt staking in US. Stay tuned for more updates.